All right, you guys, what it do? Your boy is back on the grind one more time. Your boy is back at it again, you guys. And I'm in the house, just put my son down to sleep. I probably should be doing this video outside, but I wanted to use this table here because I'm going to do an unboxing on um, a product that was sent to me, fully sponsored. They just wanted me to do an unboxing, a video on it, and try to get it out there and see if anybody maybe wants to pick it up. You know, just a little exposure for them. But they've actually been sending me messages, like, nonstop for quite some time. And I usually don't respond to a lot of them because, you know, I just don't know. I don't know some people's products. I really, you know, people are always trying to send me stuff. And I usually, I don't want to say I, I don't want to pay it no mind, but... You know, I just, if, if I want to do some research on this, I guess you could say. And so some stuff I go to their sites and I'm like, mm, some stuff I can't really use. Um, there's been, there's been um, some companies that have told me to go to their sites and pretty much pick whatever I want. But at the time in my builds and things like that, there's just nothing at the time that I could use it for. And I kind of hate that because it'd be nice to kind of, you know, get, you know, sponsored products to use for my builds. But, you know, I was just at a different time in some of my builds and I couldn't use a lot of their products. But anyways, this company um, was actually gonna send me some LED lights, but they ended up sending me this instead. I guess it's a new product that they have and it's not nothing new that's on the market, but it's something new that they offer. And actually today, which is the 12th, I'm gonna try to upload this video today. It's August 12th, Monday. These go on sale, I think from $79.99 to $49.99. I don't know if it's a one day sale or if it's a sale for a couple of days or a week or whatever, but to my knowledge and to what uh, the representative sent me, they said these go on sale today uh, for $49.99. And the way it all worked out is I actually have been wanting to get one of these because I have the, the big kind of um, handheld one from Harbor Freight. I've been wanting to get one of these, so it's cool that they sent me one because it's small and compact, and the one that I have is a little bit bigger. And when we go in the garage, maybe I'll show you that one as well. But right now, you probably don't know what I'm talking about, so let me go ahead and flip this camera around and show you what the product is. But if you're new to the channel first, definitely think about subscribing now. Hit the notification bell, all the good stuff, y'all. Mr. Grimm 23 in the building. Guys, just please subscribe. If you're watching, girls, guys, women, men, whoever, if you're watching, it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. Just go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Even if you don't watch me all the time, check in on me from time to time. Just show your boy some love, all right? But anyways, let's get to this unboxing. Shout out to Auto One, Auto One, for uh, sending me this. And what it is, it's a uh, jump start battery pack, one of those little small battery packs. So shout out to Auto One. Thank you for sending me this. Let me flip this camera around and show you guys what it is. All right, you guys, so hopefully this is high enough so you guys can see. Uh, now, this is, I, I don't want to say a true unboxing because I opened it up a little while ago just to make sure I knew what it was and I was somewhat familiar with it, but you can call it like a like a partial, I guess, unboxing because I already unboxed it one time. But anyways, this is only my second time seeing it and I haven't even really worked it. Uh, and what it is, it's a uh, jump start little battery pack. And they sent it to me again, fully sponsored. So shout out to Auto One. I do appreciate it. Um, it was, it actually got here in like two days from when she said that she was going to send it to me. I think like two or three days. So it was actually pretty fast. Um, I don't know where it came from. Um, I think it might have came from Cali. But probably made in China, I would imagine. But uh, let's see. Actually, yeah. Made in China. All right, so anyways, a lot of stuff's made in China nowadays. I mean, even even some GM um, AC Delco parts, I heard they all sort outsource those all to China now, so it's crazy. But I don't know anything about this quite yet, so you can make your own assumption of what this is like if you get it or based off of my review here. Um, now, I don't have a battery on one of my cars that are dead, uh, so we're not going to get a true... Uh, feel of how much power I guess this puts out uh, it did come charged I think like three quarters charged so 75 percent charged when I turned it on so uh, we will get to see it work but what I was thinking what I would do is still hook it up to my car battery when we go out to the garage we'll hook it up to my Chevelle and I actually have a volt uh, reading on um, one of my uh, USB plugs inside of the car 
and then we can see if that how much that raises it or lowers it or if it even affects it or not but obviously i won't be able to start the car because my battery is, is good it's, it's not dead so but what we'll do is we'll hook up some things to it and then we'll kind of just see kind of how it works overall so anyways it came nicely packed good size box it came also saran wrapped basically or plastic wrapped or whatever you want to call it here uh this is what it looks like jump starter that's, i'm assuming that's their part number there so it says jump starter power bank and led lighting it has a little uh, flashlight on it as well and it gives you all these different icons and options you can use this for and on the back here kind of gives you a quick snapshot of what's in it so um auto one yep looks like js like sam zero two jump starter capacity you got that usb start voltage usb output usb c or well, has a usb c that's cool dc output there's their website there's their support so it ended up being a legit deal you know, i wrote them back i actually went to their website first to kind of just see website looked legit i actually also youtube them and a couple other people have done uh, reviews on their LEDs and I think one other person that I've seen did something on this and supposedly they're new I don't know how new they are but I guess I might be one of the first to have one so I don't know but I did see one other video on this so let's go ahead take it out it does come in a nice case here with a little handle let's see carry that around nicely okay let's open this up and sorry for any of the background noise you guys i have uh, my ac going sun is sleeping and i also have some fans that kind of help move the air around so if you hear any noise in the background uh, that's what you're hearing so opening it up here has your quick start guide here i did open this already uh, pretty basic instructions here kind of shows you the different functions of it all so you got the power button you got the led battery indicator you got three that's for where you put your jumper cables into that three port your output for your usb usb c led flashlight in slash output and another dc um, output tells you what's all in it here this kind of tells you the battery indicator it has like four different lights i think and and uh if they're solid if they're on it tells you if there's 25 percent charge 50 75 and 100 it gives you some troubleshooting guidelines and warranty i think this has like a 24 month warranty yeah 24 month warranty on all products please feel free to call contact us through amazon message or email us right here so that's pretty dope you guys all right so looks like these are the oh they even give you this oh <laughs> yes sir. i didn't even know that i didn't even see that so this is the charging usb side usb c side and this is looks like the cables that you plug in uh for your charging port and to go to your battery and i'll show you how that works here in a moment i haven't even plugged it in yet so comes nicely wrapped has this little protective sleeve there so it doesn't get banged up something this protective sleeve and this is the unit it actually looks kind of cool it looks something like off of like avengers or something like that the way they have it made but yeah yeah i thought these were like buttons or something but it doesn't look like they do anything but this is your power button here so you can turn it on it looks like like i said that's what made me think it was three quarters or 75 percent charged already because of those three leds there's a fourth one here that allows it um to go 100 percent, obviously so that's pretty dope it says you can hold it the flashlight will come on yep oh there you go strobe sos solid boom and if i hold it it'll shut it off dope okay okay i can dig it i can dig it 
All right, so you have this part here is where you would stick. Let me see. I think that I think this turns off by itself. I don't think you could. That's the only thing that was weird about it when I was reading the directions. Like, how do you turn it off? Because when you hold it, the flashlight comes back on. If you hold it again, it'll just turn it off. So when I press it, it doesn't do anything. So I think that's kind of one weird thing about it. I think it just times itself out. But uh, anyways, maybe I'll see if it does that. I'll talk a little bit more about the other ones here. Um, but you have your, your USB-C. So this has a DC plug, so it has that. I'll put one, I'll put two. Ooh, I wonder if these are different um, strengths of charging, like if it puts out a little bit more power on one versus the other. Let's see, I'll put one, I'll put two. Okay, I'll put, okay, I'll put four. You got, I'll put five volts, 2.1. You got five, oh yeah. Okay, so this is actually a quick charger one. So this puts out a little bit more voltage than this one. So this is kind of like your standard 2.1, then this one's a 3.0, and um, it uh, has a little bit more more juice if you want to try to charge something a little bit faster like your phone or whatever you have. So let's try these out real quick. Let me go grab some chargers. All right, you guys, so I am back. Uh, I don't have anything on hand uh, for this one here, but I guess you'll just kind of have to take my word for it <laughs> that it works um but we'll definitely try these i think kind of more nowadays everybody has the usb in this to kind of use it for something to charge all right so let's just go ahead and turn it on so it is on now all right so let's try this again so we have output we'll go ahead and use this so this is the faster side turn it on now let's see if it charges all right boom there it is okay so right now it's charging so that's good on the the higher voltage one let's move this to the next one all right so that's working there perfect and i would assume so this says output. I would assume this is to charge it. Um, you know what I'm gonna do actually? Let me let me plug this in again. And then I'm gonna wait for this to shut off. And I'm going to plug the other end into uh, a wall plug and see if uh, it actually will charge it. All right, so I got my wall charger here. All right, yep, so that's what it is. I just plugged the uh, wall charger in, and it looks like it accepts that to go ahead and charge the uh, the jump starter. So I'm not exactly sure why it says in and then in parentheses it says out. Um, the directions aren't very clear on what is out and why that is. So I might have to go on the website to kind of see. But just know, looks like you can charge it from a USB-C port right into a uh, in, into the wall and it charges it up so yeah that's that and then one other thing we'll test the the uh, battery cable portion of it all right y'all so what I have here the reason I have my voltmeter here is because I was gonna test how many volts it actually puts out when uh, I plug these in and there's nothing on here that says switch it to you know engine start mode or anything like that so i'm assuming once you plug this in it's automatically ready to go so let's make sure these terminals aren't touching each other when i do this
Okay, so it looks like there's a light inside of here, if you guys can see. This might be some sort of, I don't know, an inverter or something like that. I don't know, I'm not really electrical savvy to use it, using the right terms, but let's just see. So we'll turn it on. Okay, so it's on. And then I'm gonna use my voltmeter to see how many volts it's actually putting out. I think the direction says it puts out 12. If you guys can see that, those numbers there. I don't know why it's wigging out. Okay, here we go. There's that one. All right, yeah, so right now it's putting out Shoot, y'all's putting out 15 volts. <laughs> Ooh wee. Here, let's see. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Touch, positive. Yeah, about 14.8. Mm, just trying to feel if it's getting warm. Let's see, let's see, I'm trying to feel if it's getting warm or not, it doesn't feel like it. So, all right, y'all, so what we'll do now is uh, we'll take it out to the garage and see if it kind of bumps up the, uh, the volts on it a little bit. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna start it, especially with my son sleeping right now, but I mean, hopefully you guys kinda got a good idea of what this will do. I mean, I think this is really handy. Let me go ahead and um, safely <laughs> take this out to the garage and I'll chime back in here in a moment. turn that on so what my thought process in this would was was to hook this up to the battery and see if it bumps up the volts on it at all so right now let me take out the stand if I go in here now I have a, a USB charger here that I've always put in my lighters on my old schools this one actually has a button on it where I can actually turn it on if I want to use it. And if I don't want to use it and have power to it, I can turn it off. Now, if I plug something in here, this also has a USB and a USB-C charging port. But if I plug something in here right now, it wouldn't work. It would only work if I turned it on. So that's pretty dope. My other ones don't have that. So I'm going to start putting those in all my old schools. So we got 12.7 right now. Okay, what we'll also do is test the battery, see what the battery is right now. All right, so we'll test the battery here. And what does it read, if I can see it? All right, so 12.69, so basically 12.7. So we're good on that one, okay? So what we'll do now is we'll hook this bad boy up. All right, so it just made some clicking noise. I don't know what I was doing that. Maybe it's getting prepared. I don't know if you guys can hear that. So what I'm gonna do is turn it on because right now I got positive and negative hooked up. So I'll turn it on. Maybe that's its way of charging or something like that. I don't know, I'm gonna hurry up and just do this real quick. Insane, if I can see it. Oh yeah, 14.23, 13, yeah. So turn this off, disconnect them. Boom, 
All right, y'all, man, I would say it's safe to say that this thing would probably work. I mean, it shot it up another, you know, volt and a half or so. So, you know, depending on how low your battery is, and that should start your car. So, all in all, you guys, I think that is a win. All right, y'all. So, man, shout out to Auto One for sending me this. This thing is pretty dope. I've never owned one. Oh, I was going to show you the one that I have. I think it's actually, I think it's. I think it's in here somewhere or oh no you know what it's actually in my caprice but anyways if I can find a picture like online or something I'll insert it right here it's actually about 10 times bigger than this it has a handle and it has like a a big charging cell or something on it I don't know but it has like real deal jumper cables on it uh and you can hook up you know USB whatever to it it has a a flashlight on it and whatever but it's cool but I always take that thing with me, like I said, to shows or if I go on road trips or something. So it's kind of heavy and bulky. This would be awesome to have. So hopefully you like this unboxing. I am happy with this. Um, we'll just see if it how it performs when my battery or I, I say when my battery because, you know, it all, it's going to happen at some point. But especially when I store these cars, uh, sometimes my batteries do drain a little bit. I leave them unplugged, but sometimes they need a little bit of help. So this will be nice to have so I don't have to always carry the other big bulky one um, around with me. I can just carry this. It'll be nice just to go in there and jumpstart it if needed. But, but yeah, you guys, go ahead, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I'm actually really happy that they sent me this. Thank you, Auto One. I really do appreciate it. I've been talking to a rep named Nancy. So thank you, Nancy, so much. I do, I do, I do appreciate it. Take advantage of that... Um, that discount today it's $79.99 to $49.99 today all right you guys this is actually a cut in the video so this portion of the video is after i had already filmed everything uh, but i found a minor issue i actually emailed uh, my rep nancy about it i think it's just a technicality web issue on here somebody didn't edit it right but when you go to my link which is here okay so I do have a link. I think in the video, I didn't know if I had a link yet, but I just created this link. So you should be able to use this link that'll take you to this page. Now, this is the, the one that I have, $79.99 to actually $47.99. Uh, so they have two, but you want to get the other one. I think this one's actually cheaper. Uh, but anyways, it's this one right here. So if you go to shop now, boom, it'll take you to the main page of this one so this is the one that i have the 4500 a i believe it's called but see how it shows a different price 159.99 to on sale the 79.99 well that's not what i told you guys and that's not what i was told so i was like hmm well, i don't want to put this video out yet if the price isn't right but what i ended up doing is i had a thought i was like well maybe it'll correct itself if i add it to my cart and go from there so if you go down here and add it to your cart, which I already have. You can see there's one in my cart already. Okay, so add it to my cart. And then, oh geez, I go up to my cart anyway. Ah, let me get out of here. I think I went back a page for a second. So anyway, so it's in my cart. Go to my cart and it's in there, boom. It corrected itself. All right, so again, on this page, it shows the wrong price, but when you add it to your cart, and go back to your cart, it'll show the right price. If you view your cart, it's the right price. $79.99, $47.99. If I go to proceed to check out, it should show it here. Same price. Okay, then you put in all your information. I think you can pay directly from PayPal. So just wanted to insert that in here, you guys. It should correct itself. Just make sure you do um, see the correct price there, $47.99. And then with the additional taxes and what have you, uh, depending on where you live, shipping, all that stuff, then it'll might it'll probably be a little bit more. But anyways, hopefully that helps. I'm actually also supposed to um, fill out some paperwork um, as well to, to be a part of their affiliate program. So if, if they give me any discount codes, I'll also put this in right here or in the description in the video. So definitely you can use that. 
So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, definitely think about subscribing now. Hit that notification bell. All that good stuff, y'all. Mr. Griffin23 in the building. Stay tuned for more. I got some content on this still uh, with the Chevelle when we led up to the Good Guy Show. And I think, I think my Regal is going to be painted this weekend, the weekend of the 17th, 18th. That's coming up here. So be on the lookout for that. I'm going to be um, out of town with the wifey the following weekend. Uh, so you might not see anything on the Regal till I get it back, probably when I get back, but I'm excited about that as well too. All right. But thank you so much, you guys. I appreciate everybody. I do. I do. I do. Thank you. And man, let's keep it going. All right. Deuces. Peace out.